Dave Parity of FinancialViz.com and ThinkOutsideTheSlide.com. When you've looked at your income or profit and loss statement, you look at the expense area, one of the things you commonly need to communicate are the variances between the budgeted amount for each of the expense areas and the actual amount. One of the visuals that I think that can be very helpful is what I call a budget and variance walk of expense categories. And it uses a steps to a total column graph to create it. So typically this is where we start. We've analyzed our expense areas. We have each of the categories of expenses, the budget amount, the actual amount, and the variance. This is a very common type of analysis that's done. When we want to turn it into a visual, we have to go a little further in creating the table that allows us to create the graph. So this is the table that we use to create the graph. And a few things to point out here. First of all, on the left hand side, I've used two level category labels. This is something that is allowed in Excel. And I learned this tip from Cole Nussbaumer Naflek, and I've uh, put a link to her article in the notes below the video. It's a great technique to use when you want to use category labels that have a uh, sort of a master label and then sub labels below it. The next thing is that we need a spacer segment. So you notice there's a spacer segment there and what it is there for is, is it isn't going to be an invisible segment that will position the visible budget and variant segments at their appropriate vertical position. We need it to be invisible because you're using that stacked column graph and the segment needs to start at the baseline and then position it, the visible segments, using the invisible segment. There are separate series for the negative variance and positive variance. Now I could have just had one series, but the reason I separated them is for formatting. To format a series, it's very easy. You just select the series and format the color. By having separate series, I can assign different colors to the negative and positive variances. This helps people to understand whether we were over or under budget on each of these categories. And it just makes the formatting easier. I've added a series for the overall budget comparison line. So the final series on the right hand side there is the overall budget comparison. Now it is going to be turned into a line when we do the graph, although it's set up and originally when you create the graph as a stacked column, it does appear as a stacked column. And then finally, I've made sure to include that total category. So it's at the actuals, how much did we actually spend? So we can compare it to the overall budget and see overall with all the categories included, are we above or below the budget? So this is the visual that I've created. A number of things to point out here when you're creating the visual in Excel. First of all, it is a stacked column graph. Um, and you can see that the segments look like they're simply adding. But again, it is a stacked column graph. We've made the columns wider because the default width is not wide enough. What makes the segments essentially quote unquote float in midair are the invisible segments. So we've made that spacer segment invisible. No fill and no line is how we do that. And it allows the segment that goes from the baseline up to the bottom of each of the visible segments to support that visible segment, but not actually be visible to the audience. I've added data labels for each of the segments so that we know what the numbers are and the audience isn't guessing. Your choice of positioning here uh, inside and I've done for the blue col column segments and the uh, green and, and orange or red segments, I've put them in the center. This is really a sort of personal preference as to what works best for you. But adding data labels allows the audience to easily see how much that segment was in terms of the budget as well as the variance to it. The final budget uh, line, I have taken the segments and turned it into a line graph. I've then formatted it just to be dotted. You could be dotted or dashed. That allows the final actual amount to be compared to the budget. And it's easy to see with that dotted line is the actual above or below the budget. In this case, it's below the budget. And I've added a data label to just the, the second or last point on that budget dotted line so that we have a knowledge of exactly what that budget was. And you'll notice what I've done is I've added the label that has both the series name and the value as part of it so that it's easy to see. It also makes this easy to reuse in other situations because the uh, label will automatically update since it's driven by data. The colors for the uh, budget numbers, the under the actual segments, those segments, instead of using a legend, which might be at the bottom of the graph by default, what I've done is, is I've used the chart title and I've colored the letters. And this is a feature uh, in Excel where you can format 
individual letters or text words within the title. So I've changed the color of those letters, made them bold so it's easier to see. So it's easy for the audience to relate the colors that are in the graph to what they mean. So the blue is the budget, the gray is the actual, uh, the green is under budget, the orange or red is over budget. This is a way that we can replace the default legend with something that's more meaningful within the area of the actual graph. So if your message is to show your audience the budget and variance and the different expense categories and how they add up to the total, then my suggestion is consider using a steps to a to total column graph. And as we saw in our example that we uh, used today, it allows the audience to easily see what the budget amount was as well as whether that variance was above or below the budget. For more examples of how you can effectively communicate the message from financial results or analysis, go to financialviz.com or thinkoutsidetheslide.com.